Hello Wastelanders, Vlad here. Today I want to talk to you about putting crap underneath your stairs. And first, I want to let you know, I think my neighborhood's gone haywire. I've got dogs barking. I've got fire alarms going off. i got all kinds of crazy stuff. I uh, just want you to know that no neighbors were harmed making this video. Now, you're probably familiar with some of the more common methods, such as using the blueprint, which I just demonstrated, or using the rug to kind of slide things underneath the stairs. But these methods don't always work. Sometimes you are working with a more confined area. Sometimes you want to just put more stuff underneath there and it just one thing doesn't want to work with you. So today I'm going to show you a new method so that you can work around this when those other methods just don't work. Let's jump on in. So here we are, we've got this nice confined little area and it is going to be a pain trying to get stuff in here. And what I want to get underneath here is all of this stuff. I've got a nightstand, I've got a bed, I've got a flag, I've got a light. There's a lot of stuff going on here. You could even add more. Now the key thing is that these are all stacked on top of this rug. And even then, this rug is not going underneath there. I just have too much stuff going on. But we can still get this underneath here. So let's go ahead and figure this out. Um, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to use our trusty mannequin and pressure plate to do some merging, but our star player is going to be this conduit right here. And I'm going to place it on the edge just so the tip of it is hanging off. That's going to allow us to grab it in just a little bit and uh, place it where we would like. And then we're going to pick up our rug here with all of our stuff on it and we're going to balance it on top of the conduit. I'm going to position this so that the conduit will be underneath this dresser so that it's going to be less noticeable when we finish. And you can do this for whatever setup you have, hide it wherever works best for you. But once we've got this place where we want, I'm going to pick up the conduit and we're going to put it on our pressure plate because we don't want a floating rug. We want one that looks like it's naturally there. So we're going to merge the rug down into this conduit so that when we put it back down on the foundation, it looks like everything else that was on top of it is sitting flush up against the foundation and nothing is floating. So now that we have all of this prepared, we're ready to get our space prepared to put this in its final resting place. So we have this wall and we need to open things up so we can get this in place without fighting the building system. Now the easiest way to do that is going to be to use this flamethrower. Maybe you're stuck and you can't remove the wall or change it into some other wall. So the easiest way to deal with that is going to be just flamethrow it out of the way completely. Now that that is open we're going to go back and grab this conduit and we're going to walk it over and kind of align it as we would like underneath our stairs. We're going to have to worry about the walls in the back. We don't want to collide with them. Uh, but once we have arranged it as we see fit and aligned it the way we'd like, we can go ahead and repair this wall. And now everything is in place. It's underneath the stairs and we didn't have to fight any blueprints. We didn't have to worry about collision. Everything went in place nice and simple. So that's going to do it for today's video, everybody. I hope this helps you out with your builds. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest content from Vladministrator Gaming. And until next time, I'll see you in the wasteland.